Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. Following on from my last video in which I shared with you the first three Nicole Diary Tattoo Collection stamping plates. In this video I'll be swatching and reviewing the last two which are ND004 and ND005. As always you can find information on where to purchase from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification turned on. And please also like this video. These really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my scraper, my Nail Artist and Tiffany Duro Clear Stamper and I'm going to start with ND004. I have six coloured nail tips which I'll be swatching onto, taking three swatches from both plates. I'm going to begin with a dark blue nail tip along with a light blue stamping polish. Once I've picked up the image, I am going to slightly clean up any excess. I'm also going to turn the image so I get more onto the nail tip. But this is a beautiful image and it would look great whatever colour combo it's used with. For the second swatch I'm going to use a green nail tip along with white stamping polish. Now I am sort of going to cheat and get two images for this swatch. I sometimes do this when I'm swatching instead of having to clean the plate, re-stamp. It just saves a lot of time but I don't do this for manage though. I do then re-clean the plate and re-stamp. But these two images are very pretty. Love the small swirly design. For the third swatch I'm going to use a yellow nail tip along with a red stamping polish. This colour combo and design would look stunning for a late summer to autumn mani. There is a lot of detail in that centre part. And again I've turned the image just so that I get more on the tip. But this is definitely one design I really want to use in a mani. Moving on to ND005, I'm going to be using a pink nail tip along with a dark purple stamping polish. Because these images are laid out differently, I personally prefer to stamp the way the images are facing me. So I've turned the plate. Now because this is a large image, you can pick which part you want to use, but it is a beautiful design. You could even colour them flowers in. For the next swatch, I'm going to be using a dark purple nail tip along with a pearl white stamping polish. For me personally, I don't use silver anymore. I can't remember the last time I did actually use it. I now only use a pearl white. I just find that it's nicer to use than a silver. You can get a really nice silver looking stamp over a dark colour like this one, which I have to say looks stunning. For the next swatch I'm going to use a beige nude nail tip along with a brown stamping polish. I have a few plates with images like this one, but I don't tend to use them very much. I did see someone use a image like this but they double stamped it in two different colours and it looked great and something that I definitely want to try. And then here they are all together so let's move on to the photo swatches and manis that I've created from Nicole Diary Tattoo Stamping Collection. Tattoo Collection ND004 is just stunning. It has a lovely mix of size designs from the large at the bottom to the small at the top and there's 31 images in total. I'm in love with this plate and if you saw my last video you'll know that I had some trouble with the fine lined images but I had nothing like this with these two plates. I do sort of feel that these two don't really fit in with the tattoo sort of theme like the first three do. Maybe it's just me but I sort of feel that these should really be in sort of a paisley mandala set instead but like I say this is just me. There is so many images I definitely want to use all of the bottom row and then all of them on the top row as well. 
You could even add some colour to these or add them to a multicoloured background to really make them pop out. ND004 was an easy plate to work with even with all of that detail. It all transferred really well and I'm in love with every swatch I've done. I don't think I have many styles of plates like this one but them small swirly designs will be well used, I know that. They would look great around other designs, for example the first three from the tattoo range have some designs which leave enough space where you could add in some of them swirly images especially around the ladies on plate ND002. For the Manny I had like a nudey brown colour nail polish needing a Manny and I wanted to do something a little different so I've stamped in white and I've used one of the large designs and then on the other three nails I've added some of the smaller designs. It's quite unusual for me to do a mani like this but I really like the white on the nude. It looks very bold so the beautiful images really do stand out well. Tattoo Collection ND005 is another beauty. I've taken 22 swatches in total. Some of the large designs I have taken two swatches from, but for ND005 there is just so much going on. Each image again has a lot of detail and most of it is very fine detail. I did wonder if I would have trouble like I did with the others, but again it worked really well for me. I'll leave a link in the description box for the first video featuring the first three from the tattoo collection. I did give some tips on how to work with very fine detailed images which can be a struggle to pick up. A lot of these designs from across the whole tattoo collection would work really well together. Again for example you could use the skull design from ND005 and add it with the ones from ND001. The same with the butterfly design, that one would work really well with ND002 as there is a few butterfly images on that plate. This whole collection is just stunning and I love all of these swatches from ND005. I really like that you can take more than one swatch from the larger designs. The only one I didn't take two swatches from was the unicorn image. But I love the added images like the stars. Again, they would work well around a lot of images from the whole collection. For the Manny, I had a colour which I wanted to add over a black, sort of a shimmer over the black, which gave this beautiful purple metallic look. And I thought pearl white stamped over the top would look amazing, and it does. I've used a mix of images from the large on the middle and thumb all the way down to the small on the pinky and I absolutely love this Manny. I think it looks stunning from the colour to the stamping, it's just beautiful. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with the Manny and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on the Nicole Diary Tattoo Stamping Plate Collection. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Channels. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.